Hi, this is Brian Lazar with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center and welcome to your weekly Avalanche Outlook. Uh, you can look at our homepage map here, which gives you a current snapshot of conditions. And we, you can see we've got moderate avalanche conditions across most of the state. The exceptions are in the Steamboat and Flattop Zone and in the Grand Mesa Forecast Zone, where avalanche conditions are generally safe and we have low danger. What's driving the moderate danger is generally loose, dry avalanches. And these are really good examples of these long and uh, long running and fast moving sloughs. Again, mostly manageable. They're very easy to predict. They're going to release at your feet or at your machine, um, and they're going to run down slopes deeper than 35 degrees. And you can see that they can entrain quite a bit of loose surface snow. We've got a lot of weak snow on the surface, and so there's about a foot of weak snow that these uh, avalanches can entrain as they move downhill. So here you can see these sloughs you know, coming out from ski tracks, for example. And if they push you into trees or gullies like this, they can be dangerous. So you do want to keep your heads up, even though uh, these avalanches are harmless in most circumstances. So we've got a little bit of a slightly different flavor of avalanche problem uh, basket going on in the northern mountains. The northern mountains over the last week have had a little bit more snow than anywhere else in the state, and they've had a bit more wind. And so you can see here that we are looking at um, hard slab avalanches. So these are avalanches where the winds have drifted the snow into much stiffer layers of snow. And these are concentrated to the northern mountains. You can see they're concentrated to the areas around Bertha Pass and the southern uh, front range and down into the Vale and Summit County zone. And we do have this outside potential for lar very large avalanches breaking on weak snow where near the ground. We haven't seen a lot of those. Um, but we have seen a couple and it's enough to keep us on our toes. So here are some images of avalanches of this nature that have taken place over the last week in the northern mountains. And again, concentrated in that Vail, Summit County and Front Range zone. But you can see here in this image, these small wind drifted slabs are, are breaking loose. They're generally pretty small, um, but again, they can be dangerous if you're in the wrong piece of terrain. So you can see these are about four to eight inches thick, um, generally harmless unless they push you into really consequential terrain, but something to keep an eye out for, um, particularly in the northern mountains. Signs like this, um, cracking at your ski tips or at the front of your machine or snowshoes are clear indications that you've got these wind drifted slabs and you need to pay attention. The most problematic slopes or where you're most likely to find these wind drifted slabs are at higher elevations below ridgelines and cornices and cross-loaded terrain features that face north through east um, on the compass. And we do have this outside potential still in thin, windswept, rocky areas for avalanches to break near the ground. Um, this one was up near Fremont Pass over the last week, and you can see in this type of terrain feature, the avalanche broke up to eight feet deep. These are very large. These types of avalanches are quite isolated in terrain. So if you're traveling in the Front Range or the Vail Summit County zone, you need to pay attention for um, terrain features like this, where you can produce these really large avalanches. So as we move from Thursday into Friday and into the weekend, you can expect avalanche conditions to remain fairly stagnant. These loose dry problems are not gonna go away. The weak layers at the ground in those Northern mountain areas are gonna still be there. And so expect moderate danger to last through the weekend and into early next week. In the absence of new snowfall, conditions will slowly stabilize, but we're not gonna get away from uh, the loose dry avalanche problem and the really weak snow surfaces. So I don't see much in the way of enough snowfall to really increase the avalanche danger anytime soon. Our midwinter drought continues. It is very prolonged at this point. That's what's leading to all these weak snow surfaces. We all want to see a refresh and a return of some snowfall, but it looks like we're at least a week out for that. So in the meantime, uh, stay up to date by getting your current avalanche forecast at colorado.gov avalanche or on your CAIC mobile app. Uh, check back here next week and have a great weekend.